The British Hospitality Association recently held the first ever Hospitality and Tourism Summit to discuss developing a joint strategy to realise the potential of the industries in the UK. Speakers included some of the leading figures in the hotel, restaurant and tourism sectors, discussing government policies, VAT, visas, unemployment and competitiveness with the gathered audience. Big Hospitality caught up with some of them to ask what one change they would like to see to benefit the hospitality industry. Well, I might cheat and give you two things. I can give you one short term and one long term. They're both things that, 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 that are in um, the gift of government, really. I mean, one is that I think we seriously look at um, how we can make our visa processing more streamlined. And there are a number of key markets from where, it, you know, we need, uh, they need a visa to come here, specifically China and, and India as well. In fact, three of, three of the four so-called BRICs, so Russia, China, India, they all need visas. And the longer term one is about aviation capacity and, and, you know, what do we do about expanding our hub airport capacity and regional airport. That, I mean, that, the big infrastructure projects, of course, take much longer. I think the single biggest thing today, right now, is to have um, a, a respect for the industry, to understand that working in a hotel is a great job. To work in a hotel allows you to complete your education to perhaps going into, go into a different industry. Just because you work in a hotel or you work in hospitality, doesn't mean you have to end up in hospitality. The, the hospitality industry, because it's a 365 days a year, 24 hour business, um, if you're going to be a doctor and you're going to school during the day, hospitality provides you opportunities to work at night. So what other industry can provide you with flexible work hours? So let's not look at flexible work hours as low pay and, and jobs that aren't respectable. Let's look at a hospitality as an industry that allows you the flexibility to work when you want to work, when you can work. VAT was a hot topic amongst the audience, with some querying why the government had not helped make the UK more competitive. Well, um, again, uh, no secret. Uh, uh, I think VAT is obviously uh, a, a very important one, which will facilitate. Um, it's been said, uh, Accor is a French company, so we have some experience with that, because actually in France many years ago, they did go down on the VAT. And uh, we have shown that it has created thousands of jobs, which is already, uh, I would say, one of the main issues we also have also in this country. Uh, the good thing about hospitality is that we can recruit very young people, not skilled people, because we have the possibilities in our companies and in our industry to train them, to give them a career. I think VAT is an important uh, part of that. Clearly we're uncompetitive versus the rest of the European Union and a number of other countries and therefore we're not competing on a level playing field. Um, studies have proven that uh, changing the rate of VAT can actually stimulate growth and I think that's a very important part of the government agenda. But I think the taxation agenda is much wider than that. There are clearly issues around APD, there are uh, other issues in relation to uh, planning applications, there are issues relating to infrastructure. So it is quite a complex web and I think the important thing is for the industry to get its story straight, communicate that story very effectively to government and uh, lobby as one. But after a period of constant lobbying, how near are we to a change of policy on VAT? Every initiative, and this is again one today, we take will get us closer. So if you're asking me if it's going to be settled within a month or two, I don't think so. This will take a little more time. But uh, talking about Accor, uh, also here in the UK, we are part of the BHA. So I'm actually uh, on the board uh, of the BHA. And I think we need to play a major role with the experiences that we have in France. I mean, it's a real life case we have. So we can talk about what happened. We can talk about how many jobs we created. We could talk about how more attractive we made our hotels, our restaurants for people to come. So this VAT is not just, uh, it's not, um, it's actually a possibility to create, to build and to increase, I would say, this industry and to help the uh, economical environment. Tourism Minister John Penrose made a keynote speech at the summit, however he did not mention VAT in his address. During the day there was discussion on whether the Department for Culture, Media and Sport was the best place for the hospitality industry to lobby, or if the industry could be better served having a minister at cabinet level or in the business department, or whether lobbying higher up the food chain was a good idea. I think, you know, things like we talked about VAT a lot this morning, you know, I think if we could have a lower rate of tax, that would be great. I think we know, need to know what we would do if there was a lower rate of VAT, how would we use that? But I think if we're going to lobby for those sort of things, I think we need to be going direct, not to ministers and everything else, but going direct to government, to the Prime Minister, going direct to Cameron and saying, look, these are the big subjects. Because, as you say, I think today, wouldn't it have been fantastic if the Prime Minister had been here today to show his support for the industry? And uh, it's great John Penrose came, but he's gone now, and uh, I think we need to have a much stronger voice in government. 
Look, I think uh, it's for us to get our message over to the government. Um, we are a very important sector. We are very important to the economy. Uh, I would like to see uh, the tourism minister have a seat around the cabinet table. Uh, I think the industry is that important to this economy. Uh, and uh, I think uh, we should continue to lobby to do that. Thank you.